Las Vegas mini bike, it's your boy 72 Nasty, and I'm working on a new build. Let's get into it. I'm gonna turn it into a lowrider bike. So I'm taking these forks and putting them on that mini bike with that neck. I might have to get it cut and re weld it, but I'm gonna figure it out. As y'all know, this was my old bike, so I'm trying to do something different with this one. Yeah, white walls, 145 spokes on the front. It's gonna have a steering wheel. It's gonna have some ape hangers. I might have to get the forks remade, them Springer forks, I might have to get those remade in a different way so I can put, so it's just a little stronger, you feel me? Cause these are probably gonna do about like 60, 70, 65 miles an hour, that's it. I ain't trying to build no racer. It's a low rider bike. So, let me put this somewhere. Right now I'm taking off the back shocks, back rear end suspension. This is my homemade motherfucking bike stand. If you have one, you have a bike stand now. What I like to do too is when I take these out, I like to put it back on the same post. If this is free enough to come out, I would do that. But it doesn't look like it is. So, got the rear suspension. Yeah. And about that beat that loud. I lost my gum. Damn, I can't even eat that shit now. Fuck. And I feel like I hit the lotto, yeah. Head ass. All right, so these have to stay with these bushings in. I don't know if y'all know this, but these come with these little bushings. You gotta keep them in there. You feel me? And a washer to go on the other side. Bow bing, bow boo. La la. That's what you do. Gotta keep those together. So I seen when I took it off, one stayed on the bike frame. So I'm about to go back and reach and grab that. Ready? Chuk ching. There it is. You see it? Oh, wow. Oh, let's go into the black hole. <laughs> I see something on the other side. Yeah, bitch, it's you. Uh, anyways, so like I said, that goes on this side. And then this goes right here. You can always rebuy new ones if they are damaged. These look to be okay and savable. So I'm going to keep them and probably restore them. But this pump here, I might have to get a new one of these because this shit is broke all on the inside. Can you see that? See how it's... Go Power Sports, please. Sponsor me, man. I'm up there, 100,000 subscribers, man. I need your help with these products so we can get you guys some more bread. I'm tapped in with a lot of different communities. If they could just use my name, they could probably come and get a little discount from you guys and get your shit off. Feel me? Fuck with your boy. See, look, this is just horrible. If I take this in here, watch this, guys. I'll go in here, right? Now watch. That's horrible. Oh, yeah, you don't want that. That's the, sub that's the suspension from hell, y'all. That's not what you want, player. And it doesn't look like it can be rebuilt. I do like the fact that it, if you can take that out and you can see like the pole, but it would be cool to get like the pole. Uh, if I get the pole like chrome or something, that little pole in there like that, wow, bring him back. Have the hydraulic, that looks dope for real low key to me. I don't like all that extra plastic up here that makes it look like it slides into it. I wanna see that pole, you feel me? That's what I want, but I'm not everybody, so some people prefer to have their suspension covered on the inside. But I'm going to slide this right here and get it right back. Let's see. So there is a shaft right here. And 
when it does come out. Okay. That's cool. So, five WD forty. Five WD forty. it right back to its original spot so I'm gonna try to keep it at its original spot <clears throat> so that way when I get that way when I get ready to put the back rear shots back on the new set it's already at the certain you know what I mean has a certain type of thread count so I don't lose none you feel me hard to explain but I'm pretty sure you guys out there understand the seat my seat option is going to be let me show you this. So honestly, I want to go with a low rider seat. Banana seat, I want to do crushed velvet. And this won't be, this black seat won't be here. So let's see if we can get that off first. The seat is the next thing. And to get these off, I used a five eighths. I used the five eighths. That's what I use to get these off. I use the monkey wrench, uh, 150 millimeter heavy duty monkey wrench. Um, another, I used another uh, forged steel uh, one half. And then this 15 front and back. And that's what I use to do this. Now, this does come out, but a little tight in there and it doesn't look like it's been broke in a long time so we're gonna see what's jumping off with that shit right now play it right up in here let me let y'all see this big bow oh well, now that's what we're looking at right up in there you see those bolts yes you do one and two so i'm gonna try to tighten that out uh take that off which is free this up. Cause I see these welds in here. They're not all the way solid through. So we're gonna bring this frame down and bring it all the way back, sand it down, bring it back, paint it. We're gonna chop this. Look at this, this is horrible. Whoever did this out here in Vegas, you guys suck ass. And I wanna let you know, whoever had this frame and did this dumb ass shit, you suck ass. My YouTube channel is not for kids. So don't be doing kids shit. When, when I come across your shit, give me some good shit. They ain't got no kid type shit. This shit's horrible. It's holes in the welds and shit. So we really gonna have to make this work. But I'm gonna cut it off and I'm gonna take it to my fabricator and that's gonna be for another episode. But yeah, it's horrible, you guys. Now, let's get to that. accident like last two years ago so but I'm still moving around as you see my leg don't really bend that much that's it that's as much as like that's it right there from there to there there to there so my bike has one a lot of my bikes have special braces on them for my leg which allows me to ride so this one too will definitely have a brace up under it. So that way I can ride safely. What we do is we take an old set of handlebars and we chop them in half. Shit. to the 7-2 Nasty Garage. All hands. 
hand, all hand tightened items, all, everything's hand tightened. My dumb ass went in reverse. Talking to you guys, I lost my routine of turns. It's like it doesn't want me to take it out. There we go. This kingpin is pretty big. And like I said earlier, I will be getting a lot of parts from Go Power Sports. So in the description below, I will leave all the parts and stuff that I'm going to be using on this build for you guys to go ahead. If you have this build or want to do a build like this with this style of frame, and you want to put the neck on there like that and do it how I do it, I'm going to do a step-by-step. A, a, a step. This is going to be called the Las Vegas frame. So this is what I will be known for out here in Vegas is doing the lowrider mini bikes. That's going to be my lane. Please don't nobody out there step on my toes. If you would like to join me and do, do builds that are lowrider bikes, please feel free to contact me and we could do it together. I don't mind helping out other people and bringing you on my channel and collabing. But I like new people. But yeah. So this kingpin is pretty it's pretty solid and it takes forever because I don't use power drill power drills like that. I'll use a power drill when it comes to like Taking the paint off or something like that. You know what I mean? But I prefer everything hands-on so that way I can get to know the bike. I get to know how many pounds of pressure I need to put on these bolts. Like my pink bike's been running forever, y'all. It's been running three years strong. And I think I'm just now at the mark where I got to... Uh, See, from here you can hand do it. Just when you do it, be careful because you, you don't know if there are metal shavings and you don't want metal shavings on yourself. So, when you do it, be careful. And you don't know if the frame will drop. So you have to be prepared for the frame to, frame to drop. That's why I have it on this old stool seat. Technically speaking, it doesn't even look like this bitch can come off for two facts. Maybe it can, maybe it can't. But you got this fin over here and this fin over here. How are you going to get this boat out? You might get the nut off. Watch, I'm going to show you. Look. 